Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be working on the 50cc again. We have a clutch that we're going to install, but not just any clutch. Well, it is just any clutch. It's a stock clutch, but then we also got a performance clutch bell. This clutch bell is from our favorite brand, Glixel. It's a stock clutch, um, so it's got all the stock clutch springs in it. Um, so I'll have to take it apart and put the clutch springs in it that we have in the scooter right now. So the main deal with this is it is vented, so they have a little scoop to them on the outside like that. Considering the scooter has 6,000 miles on it, um, I figure why not change the clutch? It's probably time. I know we went in there and it looked okay, but also, I mean, I don't know what the scooter feels like with a new clutch, so we'll see if we can tell a difference. Um, so this is what a stock one would look like. This is actually what this clutch came with. A definite upgrade in the looks department. Looks way cooler. I like the gloss black paint. That's, that's a nice touch. That's what we're going to be doing today. And then also, guys, in this box here, I'm not going to show you too much. There is something else that we bought for this scooter. Um, it's been a long time coming, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video uh, if you want to see what's inside this box. So stick around. I'll try and kind of walk you guys through this. Um, as best I can. I'm not going to show you like all the details, but but it, it's really not hard at all. So uh, this cover has got a bunch of eight millimeter bolts all around it. We only have two in right now because that's usually what we run because we're in and out of here so much. We got to take off all of these eight mil bolts and then this cover will come off. And then the variator is going to have a 17 millimeter nut. And then I believe it's a 13 on the back. And you're going to take both of those nuts off. Once we get in there and get those off, then I will show you and we can take a look at the clutches and see if we can see a difference. Can you just pull it off? Here's that 17 mil and here's the 13, I believe it is. Don't lose the nuts. Um, so this will come off in two pieces right away if you do it. So here's the clutch bell, looks like the other one. All right. All right. Just like that, slides right off, you don't have to do anything. No, it looks okay, it's just dirty. It's got a bunch of dust in it from the pads being worn down. So this could be a good backup in the future if we ever needed it. Um, it'll get the scooter moving. We know it actually works. So we're gonna keep this just as a backup. Um, we have the new bell to put on it if we wanted to. Nothing too interesting there, other than the fact that this actually has those springs in it. You can kind of see see the yellow in there. Here's the new one. Should look basically the same, just with more pad on it. I'm gonna disassemble these two clutches, take the springs out of this one, put it into this one, and then reassemble, put it back onto the scooter, and then put everything back on in reverse order of what we just did. So it's it's pretty simple. I mean, it took me all of three minutes to get to this point here. So I did that in a video already. So if you guys want to see the clutch springs, just uh, click on the banner above. It'll bring you to that video, but I'm going to do that quick. Uh, I figured I should also mention the nut on here. How to take this apart um, is a 38 millimeter. back together, ready to go on a test run. So we're gonna hook up the GoPro onto the helmet and we're gonna take off, try and ride around, see if we can tell a difference. I'm gonna have the GPS app up on my phone to see if we notice a difference in top speed or acceleration. Guys, I wanna stop the video real quick. We recently turned on channel memberships. If you really like our content and what we do around here and you wanna support us, hit that join button for options on how to support us. You also get exclusive perks by becoming a member. If you're interested, hit that join button down below. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing because we do a lot of the scooter kind of content and we do a lot of other stuff as well. Thanks for letting me share that real quick. Back to the scooter stuff. That is exactly why I like to go slow to begin with. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Yes, it did. It wasn't tightened down enough. That is an issue we've had in the past. So I recognized right away what the sound was. And you just shut the scooter off. And uh, luckily I was only like a tenth of a mile down the road from the shop. So I just walked it back. We're gonna put this back on the right way. I mean, it was the right way, it just wasn't tight enough, I guess, so. I got to tighten back up, hopefully we don't have that same issue. I also put the tools in the scooter, so if it happens again, we will uh, we'll be able to 
figure it out and fix it on the on the road. So um, I'm gonna toss the helmet back on and then we're gonna go for a second attempt at cruising. All right, guys, we're going on the first high speed run down this road here. So we'll take off. Thirty-eight miles an hour. Um, I don't know if there's like a break-in process for this clutch. Uh, I'm not doing it, so maybe there is. Maybe it's got a little oil on it, kind of like when you get new brake rotors, you have to spray them with brake cleaner. It actually feels like it accelerates a little quicker off the line, and it's a lot more smooth. So, I mean, overall, that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna try one more top speed run. Uh, see if I can't get a different result. Maybe a little bit higher speed. Uh, and then we'll head back to the shop. Thirty-nine. All right. So we're pretty much in the ballpark of what it was before. So we'll head back to the shop. is strange guys the more I ride this thing the better it feels with this clutch that was 40 yeah this thing is just as good as the uh, stock option which it should be or what I had in there at least gonna go back to the shop but I took a little detour um, this actually feels really good now uh, it's a lot smoother and it's pulling all the way up to like top speed there's no like dead spots kind of in the middle where it kind of hovers and then it has to kind of catch its breath again it feels like but after the first top speed run out there I actually kind of considered coming back and putting on the stock clutch bell I think I just kind of had to get the clutch hot and like up to temp and that was the issue so it took a little more riding than normal that'd be the only thing I could think of it was really nice actually it, it accelerates smooth and it, it, it feels good like it just feels good Different. I don't know how to maybe that's just uh, maybe that's just how you know it should feel because it has a new has a new clutch in it That's a definite upgrade in my book. It didn't go any faster obviously so like I mean for more speed It's not necessarily the greatest option, but I'd say that's something you should do I, I don't see why not we're gonna have a link in the description for these parts uh, And so you guys can go get them. I would suggest doing it if you have high miles on your scooter um, get a new clutch if you don't have a lot of miles you probably don't need a new clutch but that clutch bell it felt really nice so a combination of the two for this scooter specifically was kind of I think what it needed all right the time has come for me to show you what is in these boxes you guys um, you guys have been asking for this for a long time so I'm assuming you kind of already know what it is well here let's start with the small one let's start with the small one first um, it's another carburetor, but we needed another carburetor, which should be a giant hint as to what's going on, with the, what's in that box. This is a 20 mil carburetor, Glixel again, same brand as most of the other stuff from Amazon that we get. We got another orange ignition coil and wire performance stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, that was it, guys. Um, so we ended up getting a big bore kit, guys. We ended up getting a big bore kit for the uh, for the 50. So we are using this kit off of Amazon. It was kind of the recommended option from Amazon. It came with everything you're going to need for setting up your scooter to run a big bore kit. So we got the oil pump. We have the rocker arms. Um, it looks like I would assume intake and exhaust studs with clutch springs uh, came with new six gram weights looks like new coil and wire new contra spring this is cool I, it's one of those stupid spark plugs again but i really like this box because it's like look at how shiny this box is holographic like why did they put so much effort into a cheap spark plug i don't know also the spark plug on the picture 
It isn't even the same one that's in the box. Which, I mean, I guess that doesn't matter too much because, you know, marketing, but like, still. Have some continuity in your products, you know? Lushiman is the brand. So that's, that screams of quality. Let's take out some of the boxes here. All right, oh, new CDI box, woo! Probably not gonna use that. All right, let's start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest box. So this box contains, woo, a camshaft. Look out, world. I would assume this is the performance camshaft. I think that's what it says in the description is performance camshaft. So we can only assume what that means. Yeah, moving on. Uh, looks like we have the sleeve. Comes with everything you're going to need to do it. Piston is in the sleeve. Obviously, this is going to have to come out. Can we get it out? Yep. Okay. Cool. Nice. And then it also comes with rings. We want to be extremely careful with these because um, you could break them relatively easily. So back in the box those go. This kit is actually pretty nice. I can't really complain too much. Um, I mean the lines, the edges are a little bit messy, but I guess you get what you pay for, you know, with uh, Amazon products. But I'm not upset with this whole kit. We're probably going to end up only using a couple of these. Um, and then, you know, if some of them are easy to do, we'll probably replace them, but we're probably not gonna tear in that far to replace all of the gaskets. We're just gonna be doing the big core kit stuff. That's what you can look forward to in the next video. You're welcome, guys. I know you have been waiting for this thing for a long time for us to do this, um, but we were trying to ride it out as long as we could. That is gonna be it for today, guys. We appreciate you as always. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and leave a comment and tell us how excited you are about this big board kit that we're putting in in the next video. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain.